Welcome to our presentation for the paper titled Fighting Against Bank News and Newly Emerging Crisis, a Case Study of COVID-19. Social media has become an integral part of our daily lives. Certainly, while there are various benefits associated with it, the proliferation of fake news on social media has emerged as a significant issue. Especially when it is related to public health like COVID-19, the situation becomes even more serious. To prevent the dissemination of misinformation and its potential negative effect, diverse computational techniques have been applied to detect COVID-19 fake news. However, it was challenging to debunk them with the lack of relevant resources. Therefore, we propose a model that can debunk fake news on COVID-19 at its initial stage based on existing non-COVID-19 fake news data. Our approach considered two main points. First, there is no data set for debunking newly emerging fake news with existing data. Therefore, we construct a data set that consists of 7,133 COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 claims, including entity keywords and propagated information. Also, by using it, we provide empirical evidence of the effect of utilizing existing data to combat fake news related to newly arising issues. Second, as initial propagation information of the fake news can be a key factor in identifying fake news, we extracted them from YouTube. Not only using themselves, we also consider the relation among claims using graph. This is the architecture of the proposed model. As we mentioned before, we consider not only the test information of given news claims, but also the information of its related news articles and initial propagation in social media. For the model training, we construct a data set that consists of four main things, COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 news claims, and its corresponding topic keywords and propagation data. Based on this data set, we set up two different scenarios designed for a practical standpoint. Experiment 1 assumes the situation that the critical event has just happened and no data for the event is available. Otherwise, in experiment 2, we assume that a few news claims with the context are available. According to the experiment scenarios, we split the data as below. These are the results obtained from conducting the evaluation with such experimental setup. The proposed model outperforms all the models in prior work, which implies that the proposed model is useful in accurately finding fake news despite the lack of relevant resources. Also, by conducting an ablation study, we confirmed that the components using the proposed model contribute to fake news identification in a complementary way. Thank you for listening to our presentation.